So today we're going to apply this transfer sheet to a plate that was just recently made, maybe about an hour ago, so it's still damp but not wet enough to where if I were to press on it, I'm going to um, alter the shape of the rim. So place the underglazed transfer sheet underglazed side down on top of the plate, making sure that there is about a one to two inch border all the way around so that when you press the image down, it's not going to pull off of the edges. Then you want to take a damp sponge, make sure to wring out any excess water, starting in the center, firmly press down, and work your way towards the edges. You want to make sure you press down with enough pressure so that the paper doesn't pop back up again. This process works really good on larger flat pieces that have not been yet cut off of the bat so that you can really go ahead and work with the plate without fear that it's going to be sliding around. Also, the clay underneath is pretty damp, which is going to allow the transfer paper to adhere really quickly and crisp lines. So lightly dab in areas that have already had a lot of water added so that you don't smear the underglaze color. If there's any areas that have popped up and they're a little bit wrinkly, go ahead and carefully pull them towards the edge of the plate and lay them flat. If there's some small wrinkles, that's okay. Just go ahead and dab them down. Mm -hmm. If you can consider where the folds will go, try to think about putting them in the negative space so that your design won't look like it's overlapping itself. Make sure to keep your sponge clean throughout this process so that you do not spread underglaze from one portion of the design to another. To get the edge, you want to lightly dab and fold the paper over the edge of the plate. Try not to smear the ink down during this process and instead just dab so that you do not move the underglaze under the paper. Once your image looks like it's fully adhered to the surface of the plate, go ahead and let it dry for just a minute or two so that the sheen kind of comes off of the surface of the transfer paper. To remove the transfer paper, start on one side and slowly pull it off, making sure that you help it along so that it doesn't smear the underglaze as you are pulling it off of the plate. When cleaning up the design, it's important to make sure that you keep the brush clean in between each pass so that you don't move the transfer underglaze to different portions of the design. After you apply the underglaze transfer to the top of the plate, you can go ahead and let it dry, cut it off the bat, flip it, and trim it like normal, and then go ahead and apply another underglaze decal sheet to the back so that it matches.